Well, if you've priced out flights and hotels for spring break, two words probably sum up your reaction. Sticker shock. But as seven on your side's Nina Pineda shows us the solution to the sky, these high fares and expensive accommodations. We need some help, Nina. Hey, Mike, rates are only going to increase between now and spring break, which is basically upon us, mid-March to mid-April. So you have got to book by this weekend. And this is one of the most important hacks that experts clued me in on. You want to avoid what's called the fair bucket dump. That's when you search for, say, a family of four. The website will put you all in the same fair bucket to keep you together, which may be more expensive. Instead, try breaking it down maybe to two parties of two. The fare will sometimes drop into a lower fare bucket. It has saved me hundreds, but no matter what you do, don't delay. It's not too late, but you need to book now. Travel expert at booking app Hopper, Haley Berg says get hopping if you don't want to miss out on spring break. High demand has pushed domestic flights about 20% higher than last year. You might feel some sticker shock, a little bit of extra burn in the wallet when you're booking those flights. Airfare to Mexico and Central America, very hot destinations for spring break, are about 60% higher. Their research shows flights to Florida, Vegas, and Phoenix will be good deals. We scored a trip to Miami on Hopper's flash sale for less than 120 mid-March. Scott Keys of Going, who founded Scott's Cheap Flight, says the best way to save money on spring break is to think outside the box. Instead of deciding where you want to go first, then looking at dates and fares, flip it. Reverse your search. The t uh, step one. Look, where are there cheap flights available right now out of my home airport? And by setting price as the top priority rather than the last priority, that's how you get a cheap flight, especially during those peak travel times. Other travel tips, look for alternate destinations in the same regions. For example, it may be cheaper to fly in or out of Fort Myers than West Palm Beach. And try to depart from smaller regional airports. Maybe go out of Philly or Westchester. Next, consider low-cost carriers. Just be aware of additional fees. And look for fare lock options to hold fares for a fee and give you a lower price if the price drops. If you can go midweek, you can save about $100 on a domestic trip. The cheapest days to fly are Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Avoid Saturday flights and overnight stays, especially now. Hotel prices have skyrocketed up about 64%. Haley's hack for accommodations, consider a rental home. A property for rent can be cost efficient, especially for large families or groups or opt for a staycation. Hotels and inns offer locals special rates. They're called geofenced rates, discounts just for residents of the city. So we took geofencing rates for a test drive for staycations. How about a hotel with a luxury spa in Connecticut? You can save 53 bucks a night with the resident rate at all three area Delamar hotels. And right here in Manhattan at the newly remodeled Westgate at Grand Central, they'll discount a room for two up to 15%. When you check in, all you need to do is present your tri-state area ID to stave.